Okay guys, we have a special day to here today. We are installing a big uh, water cleaning system. So our own guys are helpers. And there is Ruben from Buriram. He has his own company. It's very, very big expert on this. And I'll explain to you what, because we have actually been working on this for a few months already. Uh, the reason is because we made this structure because it has to have a roof because we have electrical and we need protection. Also, the heat will make this system not work so good. It's much better if it is in uh, shaded like this. So that's why we made the roof. And you see the electrical here. And this is protected for the water, you know, so it's really nice. And we have two over there, exactly the same. So, and two, and two. So we have six sockets. And they're all going into RCBOs, individual RCBOs here. That's a special uh, protection that uh, if there's anything going on uh, with the ground, anything <coughs> that's not correct, this one will uh, break. It, it will trip. So it's a special setup for, for this water system. And here you can see all the stuff Ruben has. So it really is a lot. This is 20 years of experience right there. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And it's going to give us also clean water going into the house. Not only drinking water in the kitchen, but also much cleaner everything. Like uh, for shower, for brushing teeth, everything like that. So that's why you need all these things, because there's different processes going on. So in the first step, you have one process. And you even have a small tank and stuff over here. And then you have another process. And then you need pressure into the filters, you know. That's why it is set up with all these tanks. And then this is for keeping the clean water. So that's how, how it works. And here we have the special pumps that is good for this stuff or for anything. That, But especially here, it's a pump that stops when the tank is empty. So it saves, you know, obviously pumps, they will be destroyed if they are running dry. So this has a um, protection mechanism that um, stops it. So it's a lot of special equipment like that. And then uh, I will also show you when everything is finished. Here's the working bench. So it's going to take a few days and uh, I will up to, update you guys. But uh, I'm very excited. We're finally going to have... Uh, proper clean water in a real professional way it's night time it's the first day of when everything is working so i was just checking on everything so it's pretty cool uh, because everything is automatic so uh, you have the automatic pump air that will stop if uh, this tank is um, empty and you have automatic backwash on the filters uh, which is awesome and all of this, of course, I put on the UPS on the solar, so it will never stop. It will always, I never have to reset the timer or anything like that because it's on the UPS. These things will always have power. We have a gauge so I can see if there's pressure. And this is where it's supposed to be now. Um, so I'm just checking what I can check because obviously I'm not an expert. I just go over it and see that it looks good uh, and everything looks good i'm really happy i mean it looks super advanced but the, the reason why we need it is because in this area in the countryside there's uh, oftentimes muddy water and sand in the water and uh, so that's why we need such a advanced system um, and there's the uv obviously so but there are other ways to do it too, that's simpler. I just want everything because we have three kids and I just want as good a system as possible to be able to know that the water we use, even in the showers, is reasonably clean. Uh, and it certainly will be that with this. It's uh, really awesome. Uh, very happy. So now we, the system is finished and we have actually opened the pump into the house. It's working wonderfully the uv is active and everything so now we're here with ruben can you tell us a, a little bit about your company and how long you have worked in thailand um i'm in thailand 
uh, almost 20 years and active in water filtration the same almost 20 years but mm. in the Netherlands where I am from I was already active with water filtration mm. so but I do water filtration in Thailand in, through all Thailand um, I even have a customer in Cambodia and in a few weeks I probably even go to Bhutan but anyway Thailand so uh, yeah I travel to whole Thailand and uh, yeah uh, depending on the situation of the water of the customer it's not like every system is the same it's all uh, designed uh, that it fits the needs uh, of the customer mm -hmm. so in this case the water that's coming into Christian's house was very yellow so I uh, implemented here a flocculation system so we flock the dirt first uh, so it can be filtered out easily um, then it goes to the filters then it's being filtered out and backwashed every day mm -hmm. uh, then after that it goes to a carbon filter to remove organic compounds Christian doesn't have a softener because there is no calcium and magnesium mm -hmm. in his water so you don't need that so that's what I mean some customers they only need one filter some need mm. two some need three some need four mm -hmm. so every situation is different that's mm. why it's important to test the water always first otherwise mm. we don't know what we're talking about mm -hmm. so from here uh, the water is being filtered stored in the clean water tank from there it goes to a pump and it's being sterilized by mm. a UV sterilizer that doesn't mean that the water is potable after that but at least you know that when you take a shower or you brush your teeth that there is nothing living uh, uh, creatures mm. in there anymore. Mm. 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 That's about it. And uh, what about the special challenges for doing your kind of business and for water filtration in Thailand? The challenges are um, the challenges is are that the water is always different or not always the same everywhere. Mm. Mm. It can be very different from 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 town to town. Uh, well water. Uh, sometimes the water comes from a pond. Sometimes the water comes from a well. Sometimes we work with rainwater. Mm. So it's all different types of water. That's mm. a challenge. But due to my experience, I know what to do. Mm. Another challenge for my business is that I drive very large distances, mm. uh, and I work alone. Mm. I have no people uh, working for me. So. Uh, Every system you see is done by me, mm. not mm. by other Thai helpers or something. Yeah. So that's a bit of a challenge. Uh, but it also makes so you don't, the quality control is in place. Yeah, that, that's why I'm, I think it's very important that mm. I know exactly what is done. And yeah. that you can only know if you do everything by yourself, to mm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's a bit of a challenge to, uh, to work alone and to travel a lot. And also what's interesting is that you can have uh, systems of different size. You don't have to start big like this. No. You can start smaller and then... That, yeah, it de that also depends a bit on the situation. Mm. It depends on uh, how heavy the water is uh, or how dirty the water is, mm. um, how much water you need, how much water you need to process mm, yeah. every day. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but it also depends on your budget, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything costs money. So. so, if people want to contact uh, Ruben, what is the easiest way? Um, well, you can find me on Facebook, of course. Mm. H2O Water Systems, Buriram. Uh, my website, H2O uh, Water Systems. Mm. Um, you can email me waterfilterburiram at hotmail.com mm. or you can call me 091. Six seven three one three one six. Okay, and we'll we'll put that in the description of the video too, so you can okay. easily find all the information. Okay, okay thank you, Ruben. It's uh, exciting. Okay, Take, so welcome. good luck for the future. Thank you too. <laughs> okay.